let's continue and we are going to go to the elements the PNG then control C so we can go back to the original image now we are going to scroll down and if you notice let me use the zoom tool you are going to be able to see these lines below these are going to be the lines that we move when we create the elements image on the Photoshop program now let me click on the crop tool and see what I am going to do I am just going to copy in here well I am going to crop all this image the dimensions are going to be 1 pixel on the height and 14 pixels on the width let me double click and I am just going to second up and PNG 32 then file export and this will be the candy VG let's click save and the next step will be going to the CSS file in this case the one the body will be the one the, the element that it is going to contain this information what we are going to be eliminating will be all this okay so let me make a selection backspace and we are going to change the color to white this will be FFF the white color and the name will be candy dash BG then control S and we are going to upload the new gray that CSS and then we are going to upload the candy BG right click and upload and now we are going to refresh and as you can see now we have accomplished this beautiful layout so far these steps have been really easy to accomplish but the next one the next step the next video will be creating the menu now it is not going to be complicated of course because I am going to be showing you everything on this video but believe me when I create this menu it took me at least 24 hours to figure it out a good way to develop this menu that we are going to be uh, that you are going to be able to see in here however uh, sometimes it will take more time to develop a good menu and some other times are going to be really easy to develop the menu but of course with these videos I am going to be facilitating all the process so you can learn and gain experience with this PSD to Joomla template so my friends for right now that will be it and let's move on to the next video where we are going to start developing this menu in here